What's up guys and welcome to this tutorial about how to set up Jade. So let me just start by saying that this is not a tutorial in Jade, it's just a tutorial about how to do the basic setup. And also if you are on Windows system, you need to pause the video and Google how to set up path variables uh, if you don't already know how to do that. But if you are on any kind of Unix system like Linux or Mac OS, that's fine for now, you can just follow along with the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is you go to this link, I'll put the link in the description, and you choose the appropriate package that you want to use. I chose the Jade All, and the Jade All includes the other fours, but in this tutorial we're just interested in the bin package. So you can just choose that if you want to download just 2.5 megabytes instead of uh, 17. So as soon as you have that downloaded, you should be able to uh, have the you should have these four folders or just this one which is the bin folder so in here you go uh, you can open up the lib folder as well and in here you should have the j.jar file so first off let's uh, let's cd into this directory and see how you start it up so now I I'm in this directory, which is the lib folder. And if I type ls, you can see I have the j.jar in here. So to start with, you should be able to start up the jade by running this command if you are in the lib directory. So you can see I explicitly start the j.jar file and with the GUI and everything. And this is of course fine. I, I'm able to start it up and everything is working, you know. And it creates a couple of files in here for me and everything is fine. But it's kind of annoying that you need to see the internet directory every time you want to start it up. So instead what I want to do, I want to use this command and, um, and start it up with this command instead. But it, as you can see, it doesn't work because mine is in Swedish, but some yours will say something like couldn't find the main class j.boot. And this is because it needs an uh, environment variable called class path. And you can start by typing echo and then dollar sign class path like this. And you can see mine is empty, so it's not set. Uh, yours might say something else and if it if it's not empty you you should uh, google how to add multiple values in there and um, the most simple way to actually set the value of this uh, variable is by using the export command so you can type export class path and then equals and then I usually just drag it in there but you set the, uh, the full path to the j.jar uh, j .jar file like this and if I run the echo command again I should now get the value back to the full j.jar file so if I try to run this again it should start it up because now it knows where it's located and this is uh, this is of course actually uh, fine for all purposes, but there is a problem with it and it's uh, when you use the export command you only set the variables for the session in this terminal. So if I open up another terminal and I try to run, um, I try to run this, this command again. It won't work because it doesn't know where it is because it's not set in this session. So of course I can export it here as well, but you know it's getting a little bit tedious. And um, instead, what I want to do is I want to set this variable every time a new session starts. And if you're on Mac OS, you uh, should have a file called uh, Bash Profile. It looks like this. The content in here might be a little bit different from yours because I set up some export path to PHP and you might have set up something else, I don't know. And if you are on Linux, this will be called uh, 
bash rc instead, like this. And I don't have that because I'm on Mac OS. But if you're on Linux, you should do the exact same thing, but just with the bash rc file instead. So now the only thing we need to do is the we we basically copy this command. And just to make sure, if I echo it out in here and type class path, it's empty. And if I open up a new terminal and echo it out in here, it's still empty. So now we So now we edit the uh, bash profile, we open it up, and you can use whatever text editor that you like. Uh, but it's just the text file, you know, so you can use whatever you like. But it's important that you don't have any white space in between here, because otherwise it won't work. So make sure you have no white space in the declaration. And just save the file. And now, if you go to, if you go to a terminal that was already open and started and you echo it out it won't it still won't be set but if you open up a new terminal and try it in here it should be set and it is so that's how you set up um, environment variables on unix systems and also then of course i should also be able to start it up from any new terminal that i like Okay, so uh, that was basically it. So thank you guys for watching and good luck with your project in Jade.